Okay, I see. Uh, today I'm gonna, just going to show you how to build a pretty simple uh, redstone combo lock using the new 1.21 crafter. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is find the spot that you want to um, build your combo lock thing in. Uh, I'm in a super flat world, so for me it doesn't really matter. Alright, so once you have found the spot that you want to um, put the input, just uh, go back one block and place your crafter facing up uh, with the crafting table grid facing like out so you can see it. Uh, and then place the button right here, or on that side, that side works too. Now what you're going to want to do is just going to place a temporary block right there, and then place a block right there, and right there. And go ahead and remove the temporary block. And place a block here, here, and here, and then there, and there, and there. And then this will create like the funnel for our items to go through. Um, and then just make sure to fill this in, if you haven't already. And then uh, what you're going to want to do next is place another temporary block right there. And then pull out a hopper and place it on top of that block. And then you can go ahead and remove it. Next step, uh, I'm just going to want to place down your water. And then to stop it from flowing out, uh, just put a button right there. Also, make sure you do not place the water against this stair because then it'll waterlog it and the water will get all over the place. Go ahead and place your kelp, seagrass, whatever you have right here on top of the crafter. Actually, th this is actually only necessary if you are in a frozen biome, uh, just to keep the water from freezing. What we're going to want to do next is place more temporary blocks, and then grab another hopper, break this block, and replace it with the hopper. Wait, sorry, uh, actually want to go one block lower than that, and place the hopper there. You are actually gonna want one more button. This is just temporary though. Um, to help us to help get the LA in place easier. Just go ahead, uh, place temporary block, temporary block, temporary block. And then up. Oh. Go up by one, two, th three blocks. And then um, you can break these two. And then underneath this block, go ahead and place your piston. And then, and then go ahead and place your slab underneath it. Now put another temporary block right next to this one. Uh, go ahead and these. Now uh, just go ahead and place your rails on these. And then just go ahead and surround the rails with uh, temporary blocks, basically. And then, go ahead and put your minecart on the rail, right there. Now we're at the, the difficult part. Uh, now what you need to do is try to get the LA into the minecart. So just give it a temporary item. And then just try to figure out how to get it in there. Uh, this, this, might, this might take a while to actually get done. There you go. So, um, once you do finally manage to get the LA in the minecart, you can go ahead and take, a, uh, take away the temporary item, and um, I want to put a block here to block off the water flow, and then just push it into the hole, like, with a, on top of the hopper. And then, go ahead, break this rail, put down a temporary block, and then break the minecart, use the button, just take the button, um, I already have an extra one, so I could just do this, and you just put it on the piston and activate it. The, the LA should be stuck in the hole now. You go ahead and take all of this away. Yeah, now, uh, as you can see the LA is stuck right there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that temporary block. And you just go ahead and give the LA your, the item that you want, uh, to be your passcode. Um, next we're gonna come back to over here. I'm just gonna make the return system. So, uh, find the spot where you want the items to pop out, and then um, just dig down two blocks, and then place your dropper facing up. Next, you want to pull out a comparator, 
take out these blocks, place the comparator right there, set it to subtract mode. Next you're going to want a repeater and some redstone dust. So uh, just place down the repeater right there, right in front of the comparator, and then redstone dust, 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 dust. And then pull out a target block and place it right next to the dropper. So now this should make it so that whenever there's any items in here, it just constantly spits them out until there's no more. And then it stops so you don't get infinite annoying clicking. You can then just go ahead and cover that back up, except you're going to want to remember this because now you just need to connect this dropper to um, your like to your hopper over here. So basically just make like a hopper chain. Next. All right, there we go. And you can just cover that up. All right, so now, um, if I put in an item that uh, is the wrong comparator. password, like this, and try it, dust, dust, a couple seconds, you should see it pop up to the ground, right there. So next, what we're gonna do is put a block there. Um, pull out another comparator. Put it right there. And then grab your note block and place it next to the comparator. Put down your other hopper. Um, and then you just go ahead and connect this to a hopper chain or something. And then you can you can do whatever you want with the items that go through here. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna. Uh, throw them into the void. And um, what you're going to want to do next is. And then. Peter. And then put a comparator right there, facing that way. Another one facing that way. Two more pieces of dust, and you got a. Now you got a pulse extender. So, um. When the LA picks up the item that's the correct passcode, it'll uh, throw it in here, which then the, co the comparator will detect the item going through. Set the signal. This will make it last longer. So you just get like a quick pulse, unless that's what you want. Then just don't make the pulse extender. And then just go ahead and hook this up to uh, whatever you want. Alright, so um, now, just to show it off. So uh, if I were to try um, a golden axe, maybe it's that. Seconds. It comes through because, uh, nope, wrong code. Um, but then if I try the diamond pickaxe, the door is open. So um, if you want to add another input, it's as simple as just adding another crafter, parator, some redstone pick to the note block, and then some water to add to the water stream. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.